Hi, this is lesson number 22 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create half tone effect in Photoshop. We will learn half tone using two different techniques. In the first one, regular half tone effect that will be permanent once you will save and close the file and open again, you will not be able to change anything in that. And in the second technique, we will create the half tone effect that will be fully customizable. Even you can change the brush stroke and filter setting as well. We will also learn about smart object, how to convert layers into smart object. Smart object preserve the detail and very helpful when you will use them. Here in my screen, I have two images. Let's start with this simple half tune effect. It is very easy. All what you have to do, you need to open the layer palette. Click on this button to create new layer. Here we have layer one. You need to make sure that your foreground and background color is black and white. If not, you can press D from the keyboard or you can click on this button here. Now our background color is white. To fill the background color in this layer, we will press control and backspace. So the background color is added. We can reduce opacity a little bit so we can see the image behind. It is because we are going to assign the area, which area will be revealed from the image. So here we are going to use the brush tool. Click on brush and make it a little bit smooth somewhere in the middle is okay. If it is really hard, half tone effect, it will not spread around the edges and the size we can increase next to the letter P left and right square bracket you can use to increase and reduce the size. Make sure that your foreground color is black and dab once or twice. That's all. Now we are going to increase the opacity. So here we have new layer filled with the white and black. Now this layer we are going to use for the half tune. Make sure the layer is selected. Go to filter, pixel it. And here we have color half tone. Click it. And here you can set the maximum radius for channels value. I am going to add for this image 50 and 30 for all channels. It is depend on your picture size and resolution. You might increase or reduce. Click OK. And this is how we have half tone in our new layer. To reveal the image, it is simple you need to change the blend mode to screen and that's all. But this effect, it is permanent once you will save and close your file and open back again, you cannot change anything. At this moment, if we want, we can change, but only with the undo. This technique is very useful also if you are working in some of the project fast forward and quickly you want to create the half tone effect. Here I have another image. In this image, we are going to create half tone effect that will be fully customizable using smart object. The first thing we are going to add two layers, create two new layers. In the first layer, we are going to fill white color by pressing control and backspace. It is there. But here the brush stroke, we are not going to merge with the layer one. We are going to add in the separate layer. So select layer two, select the brush. This image is smaller, so we can reduce the brush size. There is another way to resize the brush and adjust the smoothness. You can press Alt key from the keyboard and right click, right click your mouse, go up and down to increase and reduce the hardness this way and left and right to reduce and increase the brush size. So this is how we set our brush size. Let's choose the foreground black and make sure that the layer two is selected. To reveal the image, you can reduce the opacity on layer one. Now select layer two, click once, press shift key and click on the other end. So on layer two, we have diagonal stroke. We'll go back to the layer one and increase the opacity. We will convert these two layer into smart object. Layer two is selected, press control key and click on the layer one, right click, convert to smart object. Once you will convert 
layers to smart object you will see this small icon on the thumbnail this is indicating that this layer is smart object smart object layer is preserving the detail white background and the stroke independently we can customize under smart object so now layer 2 is selected we are going to use the half tone filter click on filter pixelate color half tone and i set the value here for maximum radius 30 and for all channel 15 since this image is smaller then click ok since it is smart object so photoshop is preserving the detail of the filter here we have smart filter applied once you will double click you will be able to customize the setting in the filter and by double clicking on the smart object icon you can change the brush stroke even so let's change the blend mode to screen so this is how our half tune effect is applied but here you can see the face is not covered so if we want we can customize here we have setting for the brush stroke so if i will double click on smart object thumbnail here an unknown document open you don't need to worry from where this document came and how it's open photoshop is preserving the detail of the smart object in this document all what you have to do you can customize the effect and then save it let's say i want to reveal area from this part so the brush is selected make sure that you are in the layer 2 and simply click this way we customize our stroke and under smart object you can see the layer 1 and layer 2 previously we created for our half tone now this effect it will appear on your image once you will save this document layer 2 psb is the smart object document after making changes you need to click on file and click on save once you will click on save you can see half tone effect has been changed and simply close it and if ever you need again you can just double click here and that is there the way we customize the smart object we can also customize our color half tone filter if i will double click here look at this these are the values we have previously if we want we can change let's say maximum radius i will keep it 40 and then click ok it's changed another thing under color half tune if i will double click here we have all channel values 15 random value you can give let's say i will change here 30 but what will happen the channel will overlap and half tune will create saturation effect on your image if you like you can do that also if i will click ok look at this now this how the half tune effect will work once you will add different values in the channels let's go back control z that is fine this how we learn how to create simple half tune effect and fully customizable half tune using smart object once we apply the filter filter is the sub layer of smart object layer and anytime you want you can just click on this small arrowhead to minimize or maximize this way half tone effect is really beautiful and most of the time you will see in the advertisement in the magazine and catalogs that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson try to open the similar images and practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you